arrested, they took me to Towns County Detention Center in Towns County, Georgia. And from that point on, I was harassed, bullied, and sexually assaulted nearly daily by another female inmate. She would physically overpower me and hold me down and she would put her bare, naked vagina in my face. She also thought it was funny to urinate on me. I did not report her because I knew that there would be retaliation. I knew that there was no such thing as an anonymous report at this facility, and the corrections officers didn't care. I was in a dormitory that had a wall full of open showers, and I was forced to shower in front of the entire unit. I've had many guys masturbate to me in front of the door. Trans people are you're supposed to be given the opportunity to shower separately from all other inmates in the facility. That's something that didn't happen in my case, and that's something that's not happening in many other cases around the country. I've had several fights in prison um, in protecting my, my body. Um, and those fights haven't always been with inmates. They've also been with staff. There was no one to report to. There were no staff to tell. I was walking around doing laps in the gym with a, a friend, and I was approached by the male officer. And he said, he said, I, I need you to come with me for a second. He pushed me into the, the room and it was like a storage room with that sports equipment and like a utility table in the room. And he got down to my the waistband of my pants and he pulled them down around my ankles and started rubbing up the insides of my legs. And I said, please don't. I said, please don't. And he grabbed me by the throat and stuck his thumb in my voice box so that I couldn't make a sound and shoved my head down onto the table so that I couldn't move. He spit on my ass before he rubbed his penis in it and then he penetrated me. And it was so forceful that it, it damaged my urethra. And I, I still have problems today, but I was peeing blood for three days after, immediately after he assaulted me. He told me to pull up my pants and and uh, he said, clean your face off. And then he said, next time you see me, you're gonna beg me to do it again. And if you never tell anybody, you'll never see your kids again. And so I, I left the room and I had wiped off my face and I went back to walking around and, and basically had to act like absolutely nothing happened at all. But I remember walking back to my dorm thinking, what happens in prison stays in prison what happens in prison stays in prison. So I didn't report it, and I was determined not to take it home with me. But it came home with me anyway, because it ended a 12-year marriage. There is no Me Too movement behind the walls. Culture change has to come from the top, because those are the people who have control, and those are the people who can really enforce a change. For a lot of people who are survivors of sexual abuse, the one thing you want is for people to understand what happened and that what happened to you harmed you in some ways. We received word that we were getting a new warden and upon meeting this woman we had a town hall meeting and she basically said that um, she was going to uphold every law that needed to be upheld. If she could not handle your problem right then, she took your name, your number, she had someone come um, talk to you. She prevented sexual violence. She also brought in help. She, she brought in counseling for people that had been assaulted. Um, she had officers transferred um, because she had heard that they were not good officers, but she couldn't. Um, she couldn't get any evidence against them, but she had enough. If you have wardens and administrators who will hold officers accountable for their behavior um, and demand that all people in the facility have res are being respected, that includes the inmates, then yes, you're gonna see a big change. You will see a whole lot less sexual assault. You'll see a whole lot less inmate on inmate assault. 
You can say no sexual violence, but if you don't walk out onto your yard to see if it is being followed, then you know, you, you leave all your people to do whatever they want. And if you don't want to see this in your institution, then you will make everybody accountable for it.